So we're doing the ultimate cross path mod again, but this time we're executing order 66. So what that means is there's a new option in this mod that allows you to cross path everything. So originally, if you didn't see um, what I did previously with the first cross path mod, it only went up to seven individual upgrades. So I could get like a 430 boomerang max, but now I can do everything with this, this toggle right here. So I can get a 555 anything, 555 attack shooter, bomb shooter, super monkey, you name it, 543, basically any combination. However, I have not enabled every tower because not all of them are interesting. I've only enabled a few of them, otherwise it would take um, 10 billion years to load up my game. So with that said, uh, let's jump into a modded game here. So these are the towers I've selected so far, just a few of them. Again, uh, I did take a, a quick little look at everything here. And yeah, again, most of them, most of the cross pads just aren't that great, or at least not that interesting. So I've just picked the most interesting ones here. For now, let me just start with, I don't know, how about a monkey ace on this map? And let's go. Because if you hadn't seen the first part of the cross path mod, these are all algorithmically generated. Again, what that means is that they're not manually coded in, so it's just whatever the algorithm um, spills out. It's what you get with the upgrade, which means it's not going to work the way you want it to. Like, say, a 555 plane may not be what you expect, and hence, it's not going to be what you expect. Some of these may be very underwhelming. Like, for example, l let me just say one that I didn't enable, Heli Pilots. Like, what would an Apache Prime Comanche do if you decide to manually code it in? I wouldn't know off the top of my head. Also, I think this map is kind of bugged. The balloon path doesn't quite go on the track. Seems just a little bit off, if you see there. No biggie, though. But yeah, in case you're wondering what the 505 heli does in this mod, well, it just adds a, a Comanche on top of the Apaches you already have, so that's, again, yeah, not really anything special. Which is why I disabled heli and a bunch of other upgrades. Everything I have here is uh, cross path, though. It's able to be cross path up to 555, except for Alchemist. For some reason, um, it's just missing that in this mod. But no biggie, Alchemist isn't that interesting anyways. It's also unknown what the texture is for the given uh, cross path. It doesn't matter what order you upgrade it in, I believe it's always the same every time. It's either a combination of uh, multiple textures from the pads, or just one of them. Again, we don't know until we try it with this one. So here we are, uh, technically bug testing. Because this is a pretty... Uh, I think it's a pretty new version of the mod. It didn't come out too long ago. I think I'm gonna get me a tax shooter. Tax shooter sounds like a good combination. Let me try a 2 3 2 tax shooter to start. I'm kind of curious. Well, if it'll shoot. Yep, that's nice. Now, if I do this, it might change the blades to tax, because I don't know which one overrides. So let me just test though. Okay, that's good, that's good. It keeps all the blades. So this is pretty darn nice. Attack spraying. Fast shooting, blade shooter. I believe if I upgrade to overdrive though, it's gonna go back to normal attack. So I, I think I'm gonna leave it as is. That's a pretty good attack shooter right there. It just needs a village, then we are solid. All right, let me get this hot shot. Just see what happens. There we go. Oh, nope. That was a mistake. Whoever said to get it, you... Uh, look what you did. Look what you did to me. That's why I didn't buy the blade shooter. I had a feeling that something was going to go wrong. And that, that just went really bad. Well, it's still okay for the early round, so I'll just keep it. At least I have lead bomb power, so I got, that's my silver lining. SMH. Alright, camo time. Let's start with a cross path sniper. How about a shrapnel attack speed with damage? A 1-2-1. One, one. Should be good enough for now. Alright, so there's a marketplace. I'm gonna go middle path, and uh, that should give me a pretty fat stacking farm. I don't know if this actually gives more ticks, but I'm assuming it does. Otherwise, I'm just wasting 1k. I think I'll start by getting an overdrive, see what happens. Let's just get it. Got a 3-3-4 now. Well, we already saw the 3 zero 4 before in uh, a previous cross path run I did. How does this compare? Well, it has, definitely has larger range, a lot more pierce, so I think it's pretty solid. Now imagine this, but attack zone. That would be a hot shot to shooting attack zone with extra pierce. Sounds pretty good to me. See round 40 here. Pretty solid. Yeah, I'm just gonna get a quick village for that. We should be good. Let me see what happens. Uh, how much money does this thing make? So I started at 7,400 this round. I made uh, 600 bucks. Is that better than a normal uh, marketplace? Let me test real quick with the 0, 2, 3. Oh yeah, it's definitely a lot slower. Definitely a lot slower. Okay, so definitely go top path. 
I assume this would make it give even more. I do you remember trying a 303 before? Regardless, I don't think money's gonna be an issue because we have, uh, well, this guy. How long can it solo? I may buy a Ring of Fire at some point. Maybe we should try the tier 4s first, and then tier 5. So, let's see what happens if I do a Maelstrom. Probably nothing. It probably just gets in a bit- Oh, no. No. It went back to Blades. I wonder if these can pop lead. I guess we'll find out. But hey, an Overdrive Late Shooter. That sounds solid to me. Let's just use the ability. Seems the about the same. And yes, as you see, we have the dumb cross-path texture. As I said, it's randomish. We have no idea what it's going to turn out as. And it indeed can pop leads. That's nice. And again, there's the ability. Nothing special. I got all the money in the world. Let me try a 3-2-4. Gonna watch the money count up here. See how much it makes around. I think it started at 14-3. So, about 1,400 that round. I think it's alright. Well, I don't want to upgrade this guy until we are struggling. Because right now we're, we're fine. So, I'll just leave it, honestly. We'll just leave it till... It dies to something. Keep in mind, this is unbuffed, not even jungle drums, not even out buff on it yet. Here's the BFB. Another one falling victim to the 344 attack shooter. I think if I go bank, I have to start, you know, looking at the money in the bank. So I'm gonna avoid buying that. I'm just gonna buy a BRF. 554 per crate. That's a very odd amount of money. I think it normally gives 300. This attack looks like it does 2 damage, has normal damage type, has 3 pierce, and shoots hella fast. You know what else also does that? Attack zone. This is literally just attack zone right now. This guy's is a blade shooter. Just ignore the fact that it can pop lead, because NK took away the ability for attack zone to pop lead. This is basically the pre-nerf attack zone that you're seeing right now. I do wonder what happens when I do Ring of Fire, but I'm gonna wait until again we fail to something. For now, I'm gonna think I'm probably just gonna keep on stacking cash. Maybe I'll go for a 504 Banana Central. Banana Central, got him. It looks like it's still ticking 454 though, but maybe it ticks faster. Yeah, 568. Oh, no, no, that's the, uh, that's the buff. Oh, there we go. It's ticking now. Took a bit to update. 1625 per tick. Sounds pretty solid to me. Well, now we don't have to worry about money anymore. That's cool. 76 here. Alright, I'm just gonna use the Maelstrom. But now it probably sounds like a good time to buy Ring of Fire. Just see what happens. So now it turns into a pretty bad tower. I think it's just a hypersonic ring of fire, which isn't actually terrible, but that's actually worse uh, single target damage, cause less projectiles, I think. Yeah, that's definitely a downgrade right there. Let's go for a tank zone now, see what happens. Uh, that seems a lot better. A lot better. Now the texture doesn't actually reach the uh, full radius, but you can see instant annihilation right there. That's not bad. Let's use the Maelstrom ability, it's still the same. I think it'll still be the same for s mail too, but I'll, I'll buy it just cause. Use it. I think it's pretty normal to me. Why do I feel like this is just an Inferno Ring with a Maelstrom ability? Well, I would say it's better, because look how fast it shoots. It's only shooting this slowly because it just one-shots the balloons that are in range. But once you see a BFB, look how fast it starts shooting. So it's definitely better than Inferno Ring, I think. Like, better than the Inferno Ring's main attack. There's, there's no way Infer Inferno Ring is this, this good. Well, I guess now's a good time to experiment with uh, everything else. Actually, I'll just finish off with buying Inferno Ring. What happens when I buy this? Let's go. So it's basically all Ring of Fire. That's a massive radius. Why does it feel like it shoots slower though? Or is it just because there's no balloons in range? Let me speed up a little bit. I don't think it's shooting as fast anymore. I don't know if it's any weaker though. No, it seems just as good. Just as good. Just animation-wise, you don't see as many, uh, whatchamacallit, attacks. But it's definitely ticking. Ticking a lot. So we have the attack speed of attack zone. While we have the Maelstrom ability. And then everything else is basically in front of Ring. How accurate do you think this 555 attack shooter is? Like, compared to if they uh, NK manually coded one, if they added attack Paragon, which is probably coming soon, to be honest. Again, my assumption is that they go in order with Paragons. So next would be Bomb and Tack. I think it'd definitely be, obviously, less uh, Ring of Fire oriented. Because, again, right now, it's just a normal Maelstrom, and there's no attack zone elements other than attack speed. I wonder how NK is going to implement that. I would say the algorithm did an okay job, though. The only thing I think a human would do would be... they The, the blades would probably be flaming hot. Flaming hot and apply DOT. Fire DOT. As for attack zone element, I don't know what they would add. But certainly more than what, 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 what they have right now, which is pretty much nothing. Visually speaking. So basically, take this as a modded attack paragon. Because that's basically what it is. Also, if you look carefully at the uh, Banana Central, there's a very tiny crate just floating on top of it. 
Just thought I'd point that out. It also looks like we don't need any more money because we, uh, uh wow. We have a million dollars, basically. This guy's made 700k, so no surprise, combining uh, a whole farm cross pads ends up leading to a lot of money. Like, you get the amount of ticks of a central market, but the money amount of Banana Central. And you got the veil of bananas, so this shouldn't be a surprise. Alright, let's do Ace then. Let's do Ace next, because we've only been doing tech the entire game. Alright, let's start off with the uh, classic ODS Never Miss. I'll turn it into a Sky Shredder that never misses. There you go. Not all darts are seeking though. It's similar to the uh, Never Miss, where uh, only if there's a uh, balloon close to the, uh, the dart. What if I turn this into a Spectre? We lose all the darts. Or is it that the darts, um, the darts all combine into the Sky Shredder? Because I can't tell if it's only one dart, or if it's multiple, or it's just the same as a Spectre. I think I did take a quick look and it was the same. Let me just double check. You can check by doing uh, a Spectre and then the same with this guy, and just see the damage difference. If you compare the damage amount, this seems to not go up very much. So it sounds like to me, it's... Well, just this, but if you look closely, there's a random spike of 1k damage every once in a while that this guy doesn't have. So it's basically Spectre, but something added. Some, 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 something gives a massive damage bonus. Probably the fighter jet planes or the fighter plane attacks. Yeah, I do see the uh, the fighter plane is still attacking. So that's probably what's adding so much damage. It's the malt missiles. So basically, the 504 is the same as a 304, except... The fighter plane missiles do uh, sky shredder damage. Y you lose the uh, the mass amount of darts, sadly. I bet it's the same thing with flying fortress. Let me just buy it. You don't really get any fighter plane, or you don't get really a sky shredder elements. Only the fighter plane. That's what I mean when I say it's not what you'd expect. The algorithm can't be that smart and know exactly what to give. So if I try middle path, it's they don't really add much either. What would bomber ace do? It would just add bomber ace across the map. Really, see that right now. Exhibit A. If I do ground zero, all it does is add an ability that does the exact same as ground zero, I would assume. Just use that. I think I did the same amount of damage. So yeah, 555 five, five, ace. Definitely not perfect, but that's understandable. Alright, let's try sniper now. I dropped this guy at the start under the assumption that I would get more, so let me get more. I obviously want to go for a cripple Moab. This is going to absolutely annihilate the balloons, but it is what it is. If I get an elite defender cripple Moab, yeah, that's a lot of stuns, all right. Not to mention I have Shrapnel, which would be a group stun, I believe. Surprisingly, there's Bloons still moving. What do I put on first? That should have a lot more stun. Seems okay to me. I don't know if the Shrapnel is working, though, like the stun. Otherwise, I think they would be in place more. I wish there was a targeting that it could only target Moabs, because right now it's probably wasting a lot of shots on Ceramics. Now, I already tried this before. Buying Bounty Bolt does not make it stun even more. I think the main attack just... Bounces more, which isn't really, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Well, it does. If you get an Elite Defender, we have Elite Defender, so a Bounty Bolt Elite Defender sounds pretty good. Yeah, I'll probably Solid Tower because we're doing too much damage. Let's uh, get rid of the Ace, see how good our stall can be. Yes, and if I buy Elite Sniper, I, get, I shoot even faster, so let me just do that for the attack speed, and uh, here we go. Seems to be stunning DTs decently well. Is it just me, or does the uh, crate come up a lot faster? Hmm, that's interesting. Interesting that the algorithm decided to give this a uh, faster cooldown reduction. How about the Maelstrom? No, it's the same. Interestingly enough, the uh, the crate cooldown goes faster, but for the attack, um, the attack cross path, it's the same. I wonder where in the code it decided decided a faster cooldown is what it should give. Maybe the bottom path, yeah. But that's still kind of weird because that's attack speed, not you know cooldown reduction. Alright, quickly before the game ends, I'm gonna test out the uh, Dotling on it real quick. I believe I'm gonna spoil you a little bit. It's not that exciting because it doesn't actually give what you'd expect. So let me just start by doing each cross path. So uh, we already saw a Buckshot Plasma Accelerator did nothing. This doesn't do much. It just adds both, as you see. It's just a combined BADS and an Accelerator. If I do a Bez, same thing. Now what happens if I add a Hydro Rocket Pods? Do I even see it? projectile? I don't know if it's even shooting out. Like, what? Look here. I see nothing. So, this bugs out. There's no Mahydra rocket on the Darling Gun. If I do a Rocket Storm, still nothing. I think the ability works, though. Let me use it. Yeah, it does work. It does work, as you see. Just no main attack. Also, I'm gonna get rid of this guy. I wanna see if this guy can solo, because we already know how good the, um, what do you call it? The Cripple is. 
but can this defend 139, 138s? I'll get a mad too, but I mean, if it didn't shoot out uh, Hydro Rocket Projectiles, sure as hell bet it won't shoot out a mad projectile. So yeah, unfortunately it's a little broke, but even if it did work, it wouldn't be that interesting because it's just additive rather than multiplying things. That's what makes it OP, like with this one, because you're multiplying the attack speed with the other cross pads. Now if we do Ray, Ray Doom, we get that. We only get two of three. This is only a 525 darling gun, as far as we're concerned, with an added ability. I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty sick, a sick looking uh, texture though. They just add the art on top of the other. Can't see the uh, the mad art on this guy, although someone said they saw the arm. I, I can't see it though, the way it's looking right now. All right, let's see if the attack can beat a fortified mad and a ray of doom. I think we're gonna lose. I didn't use S mail, but it probably wouldn't have done much if I had to guess. Yeah, we're gonna die. You think if I don't cross map everything, I'll be able to get a mad? Yeah, let me try different combinations of towers. So a 5 5 0. Nope. The Ray of Doom overshadows the mad. Let me try a 4 5 0. Still overshadows, sadly. How about a Bez mad? There we go. We got it now. So weirdly enough, we only get two. In order of priority, I think it's top path, bottom path, and then middle path. Weird, but I'll take it. If I buy laser shock, nothing bugs out, which is good. Still die, because DDs are rough. How about a 355? Uh, does it shoot? Yeah, it does shoot. But the projectile completely changes. Look, it, it's just a green thing, a green blob. Let me try target independent if it exists. Does that work? No, it doesn't. No, 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 it doesn't. The map does not target, only the bez. So, in case you're wondering, I should still target. Now, let me just get a quick main Moab, just to make sure I don't die. And I think that'll do. Alright, and that'll do for this session. Hey, look at this. It even shows it's a legit 555 attack shooter. 15 million pops overall in the game.